and welcome to Code Pro, your source for helpful and effective programming tutorials. Today we are going to be building a camera application using AV Foundation. This tutorial is going to be a little bit more advanced, so if you've never built a camera application for iOS before, I recommend you check out my tutorial on the UI Image Picker controller, which is a much simpler way to create a camera application using the system camera themes and settings. Uh, so, one question you might have is, why would we want to use AV Foundation to build a camera application? And the reason is, we can control every possible configuration with the camera, we can customize the user interface, we can do almost anything that we want, and we cannot do those same things and we don't have that flexibility using the UI Image Picker controller. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to build today. For this tutorial to run it, you're going to need a real device, so you'd have to be a registered Apple developer. This is not something that you can run in just the simulator, unfortunately. So I'm on my iPhone 5 here, and as you can see, I have some camera output being shown in the view controller. I have a little button at the bottom to take a photo, and uh, I'll just go ahead and snap a quick picture of my MacBook Pro. I'll hit take photo, and you can see that we go to a uh, kind of an image preview uh, view controller, and then we can go back and uh, we can take another photo again and then view the preview. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would uh, implement this in code. So go ahead and open Xcode and create a new uh, single view iOS application. And uh, once you've done that, <clears throat> we need to go ahead and set up some things first. Uh, one of the things is the permissions for the camera. Uh, by default, uh, there turned off, so we need to actually provide uh, a key for this in the info property list. So go over to the info.plist and go ahead and hit plus and let's look for a privacy. And there should be, that doesn't come up, there should be privacy, camera usage description. And we'll just go ahead and type in uh, photo application just so we have uh, some description of why uh, we need to be using the camera. If you don't have a value in this property list, uh, the app will crash when you try and invoke uh, anything to do with the camera. So let's go ahead and pop over into our view controller uh, and start getting some things set up here. Okay, so go ahead and go into your uh, view controller and let's go ahead and start getting some things set up. So uh, first thing we're going to do is import AV Foundation. So up at the top uh, below import UI kit, we will have import AV foundation, which gives us access to all of the uh, functionality needed for the camera logic. So the next step is we need to go ahead and configure some properties. Um, the first of which is our AV capture session. So let's just go ahead and uh, create a session. Let session equals AV capture session. And the session is going to manage uh, all of the facilitation between the camera outputs, the camera inputs, and all of the data exchange back and forth. So it is one of the first things that we need to get set up to actually uh, get a camera feed uh, up and running. Uh, so let's go ahead and define a few more properties that we need. Uh, we need a camera. <coughs> so a camera uh, AV capture device. We'll mark that optional for now. A uh, <coughs> camera preview layer of AV capture video preview layer. So when we are actually capturing uh, input from the camera, we will be rendering that into this preview layer so that uh, the user of the application can see exactly what the camera is seeing. Uh, and finally, we need, uh, we need an output. Uh, we'll do a camera capture output. Um, let me just make sure that's output. I'll type AV capture photo output. I'm just going to go down here. And now let's go ahead and initialize our capture session. We'll create a function here, func initialize capture session. And we'll make sure that we call this in view did load. So this will go ahead and start uh, our camera and configure it with all of the settings that it needs to be configured. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set the session's uh, preset. So we'll do session dot session preset, and you can see right down here a constant value indicating the quality level 
or the bitrate of the output. And what we're going to set that to is uh, AV capture session preset high. And there's a few different presets you can do, medium, uh, high, low, and then a few other specified sizes. Uh, so I'm going to set it to high just for this tutorial, but you can configure it as you need. And um, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and initialize our camera. So camera equals AV capture device dot default device of AV media type video. So that will go ahead and tell our camera to go ahead and start uh, running, essentially, or at least configure it to get ready to run. Now let's go ahead and create our camera capture input. So we'll do a let camera capture input equals uh, try AV capture device input. And that device we will provide it is the camera. And uh, we are going to need to wrap this in a do catch. So we'll just go ahead and do. And uh, we'll catch any kind of error that could happen. <clears throat> and uh, we'll just print out dot localized description. And we'll just need to move this into the do block. And let's go ahead and continue moving forward here. Uh, so the next thing that we want to do is we need to go ahead and uh, set our camera capture output. So camera capture output equals a new instance of AV capture photo output. Now let's go ahead and add our inputs and our outputs to the session. So we'll go down below here, session dot add input camera capture input and session dot add output camera capture output. So now let's go ahead and start configuring our camera preview layer. Uh, so what we want to do now is our camera will initialize our camera preview layer equal to an AV capture video preview layer and we're going to give it the session our capture session. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and change a few properties on our preview layer. Uh, camera preview layer dot video gravity. And I'm going to set mine to AV layer video gravity resize aspect fill. And there's a few different uh, sizes that you can change it to, which in this case specifies that the player should preserve the video's aspect ratio and fill the layer's bounds, which is really what I want. Um, so <clears throat> then I need to go ahead and set the frame of the layer, camera preview layer dot frame, and I'm just going to go ahead and set it to the bounds of the view, view dot bounds, which will give it the uh, proper width and height. And uh, finally, uh, we need to set a, in a video orientation, so camera preview layer dot connection dot video orientation equals AV capture video orientation dot I'm going to use portrait. Finally we need to go ahead and add our camera preview layer as a sub layer and start the session. So let's do that now. Do view dot layer insert sub layer and this will be our camera preview layer and we'll do that at index zero. And finally, uh, we'll do the session dot start running. That completes our camera initialization setup. So check out part two and we'll continue moving through the AV Foundation tutorial.